Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be helping you out with you understanding how to program your Castle Sidewinder brushless system. This is an awesome system. You can do a tons of programming on it, but it's a bit hard to do that. So I'm making this video to help you understand this because it took me a couple days for from after reading through that for this through this booklet to understand it so I just really want to help you out this is really confusing so let's get started so the first thing you need to learn about is uh, getting into programming mode so what you want to do is turn on your transmitter first mine's blinking green I don't know why but then after that you are going to hold full throttle while plugging in the battery and uh, if you have a switch you can plug the battery in after turning the transmitter on and then flick the switch while you're holding full throttle but because I don't have the switch I'm gonna have to plug in the battery at the, at the same time so it can be a bit difficult you're gonna keep on holding the throttle The light is blinking yellow, so that means I can let go. After you've learned how to get into programming mode, uh, you want to uh, select which settings you want to go to. I turned it off because it was really annoying. But anyway, you're going to look at all these settings and say, okay, so this is setting one. Okay, remember that. It's setting one. I could choose with reverse, which is default, without reverse, or crawler reverse. Um, so when I go into my programming, I want to know which setting I'm going to. So I want it with reverse. And the way I do this is I'm going to write down 1 because this is the first setting, and I choose option 1 because that's the option. So I'm going to write them down kind of like coordinates. So I want 1-1. One, one. Then after that, just break them out. So this one's setting 2. And I want it to be at 75%, so I'm going to write down 3 because it's option 3. So... You're going to look through all the other settings, and then keep on writing these numbers down. Now that we've written down all our numbers, we want to uh, go into programming mode, mode and uh, activate these settings. So, what's going to happen when you're in programming mode is that you're going to use your transmitter to answer yes-no questions. This is yes this is no, as you'd probably expect. But the reason it's useful is because when you hear the the sequence of beeps, there's, it's going to be like, at first it's beep, beep, and then a two second pause, beep, beep, and then when you when you go to the second setting, it would go beep, 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 because it would be on the second setting and first option. And then, but you want to get to the third option, so you are going to press no, per se, and then it's going to pass over to 2, 2, and so it'll go beep, 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 and then two second pause, beep, 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 and then it's going to, it's just going to wait for you to get a response and then you're gonna press no again and then it's gonna go to two three which is what we want and then we will press yes because that is the setting we want then after that it's gonna pass to the third setting and first option so now I'm gonna go get into programming mode and activate all these settings alright so get back into programming mode
I'm gonna wait for the light to turn yellow. Then I'm gonna let go. It's giving one beep, one beep, and that's the setting I want. So I'm gonna give it yes. That means it's at the second setting and first option. We don't want that, so we're going to give it no. And see, right now it's at the second setting and second option. We don't want that. Yes, that's correct. We want that. Okay, so now our system is programmed, we've got all the settings we want, and now we know if we want to change a setting, now we can. So it's got a memory, so after you've programmed these options and you've finished all of them and it went into back into its normal mode, that means it's saved and then whenever you turn your system on again, it's going to be the same. But there's one little thing. If you if you change uh, from nickel metal hydride to lipo, you want to change the seventh setting. And when you change that seventh setting, it actually resets all the other settings. So it can be a bit of a pain to do all that resetting. So if you have nickel metal hydride and lipo batteries, I suggest you keep this paper for reference when you're switching batteries. All right, give this video a thumbs up. I thought I did a really good job. So, see ya.